If I could write you a song to make you fall in love, I would already have you up under my arm. I used to ball of my tricks. I hope that you like this, but you probably won't. Hello and welcome to this special video podcast on the Chronicles Sports Blog. I'm Matthew Isles. And I'm Ben Cohen. And thanks to the Blue Devils by a week last week, we had the chance to meet up with Duke quarterback Thaddeus Lewis and wideout Euron Riley. Instead of talking X's and O's like we normally do, though, we learn more about the personalities behind Duke's dynamic pass-and-catch combo. In part one of this two-part video series, find out more about the players' penchant for oxtail and their different musical tastes. Up next, only on DukeChroniclesports.com. Enjoy. You said you guys were roommates? Yeah. In, uh, for, like, away games? Or training like camp. Oh, we're training this camp. Summer. This year? Okay. Yeah, this summer. So, yeah. what was the most annoying habit that Thad had? Snoring. Snoring? Man, he snores so, so, so loud, man. So, oh. hey, I bet he did and I stay, too, right? I stay up loud and sleep early, so he goes to sleep 11 o'clock. Oh. <laughs> Long nice, days term. work. Yeah. <laughs> Long days work. How about him? What was his most annoying habit? Oh, he get on the computer too much. <laughs> nah, he We're talk there. on the phone all the time. <laughs> what, with his lady friends? <laughs> Yeah, friend. No, we don't go. We don't go. We don't go uh, single on that one. We don't say friend. We don't go single. We don't go single on that one. Okay. We don't say friend. You know, we got a lot of internet surfing. Right? Um. So we were talking about it, but what kind of music does he run like? Everything. Yeah. Funny guy. You never know. We'll make some funny then. We, this guy sits in a room. Beyond. One day he listened to Beyond. Next night he listened to Young Jeezy. The night after that he listened to The Temptations. I don't know what this guy want to listen to. So how do you know what kind of music you want to listen to? Like, what, what puts you in the mood for Rihanna opposed to, opposed to Young Jeezy? I don't know. Just I'm feeling it that day. I mean, probably want to listen to some fast upbeat. Probably want to be mellow. Did you uh, uh, did you cool. see Rihanna when she came here? I wish I would have huh? saw. Oh, you wish you saw her? <laughs> Hey, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I wish I would have saw. <laughs> I would have won. Might have been a training. <laughs> um, so Mariah Carey, though, you like that? Oh yeah, I love oh, Mariah Carey. Oh yeah, I listen to anything. What kind of listen? What kind of music does that listen to? The hardcore guy. He really he always talk Miami and stuff. So he want to listen to the hardcore hip hop rap stuff and all that. So I listen to that too, but not all the time. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have a soft side. Yeah, saying? yeah, you know. I'm gonna throw it. I might throw it back a little bit. You know? <laughs> But uh, I don't listen to no, I really, I really not, haven't listened to a lot of R&B unless it's, you know, on the video. You rock your throat? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Wait, Dad, why did Iran hate you freshman year? <laughs> I wouldn't throw in the football. <laughs> I wouldn't. Iran had like one catch. <laughs> but see, I was taking, well, the way I was being taught, you know, I couldn't read. I wasn't reading the whole defense at the time, and I didn't know much. I really didn't know the system. I, I played week by week. But towards the end, you know, I got tired of seeing him pouting on the sidelines, so I was like, I'm going to throw him the ball. I found out he was a playmaker because I was actually throwing bombs and cover twos, and he was going to get it and catching the ball. The coach would be like, that was a good pass, but you were supposed to throw that ball in that coverage. <laughs> so, you know, when you find out who your playmakers are, then, you know, but that made me learn my sophomore year. It made me study more and um, and learn more about the game and the defense. So and when he got mad at you, though, he had, he would actually come up to you on the sideline. No, nah, he wouldn't talk. He went. He, he went. Pout, talk. He I go, yeah, he'd I'll be pout. Pout. I'm, not, I'm not gonna never go to nobody and curse my other. That's, that's something I'll never do. I try to I'll go pout, talk to him. I'm straight. Straight. <laughs> <laughs> I say you straight, man. I'm straight. I will probably get to myself, you know, man. You know, I'm, you know, never, I'm not gonna never yell at nobody. Okay, okay. So um, all right, let's talk about movies. What's your favorite movie? Uh, if I had to pick a favorite, I'd say Rush Hour 3. That's because I watched it the other day. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many movies. And you're going to pick Rush Hour 3? That's right. Rush Hour 4, favorite? man. I like funny movies. And Chris Tucker and Jay Chan funny. I got to go with all right, 3 okay. to Friday. Okay. All right. three. We sit there and watch them all day. And recite them all day. But you guys, so you guys don't like dramas? Oh, I like, oh. I like, I like that. Hey, I like, yeah, but. I like Jane Bond movies, like Cinderella nah. Royale. I like, I like yeah. all kinds of movies. You know, we watch everything, you know. <laughs> yeah, you guys do this. The movies is what it is sometimes. Yeah. But you, guys watch, you guys watch a lot of movies uh, when you travel? Not sometimes. Just, not, I'd rather travel, watch yeah. football. <laughs> oh, you watch football? Well, I feed off, I feed off, you know, you know what, what a guy do, you know, the day before, you know, uh -huh. kind of get me crunk and ready. 
So, uh, do you guys wish you guys had a game this week? Yeah, for a little bit, yeah. It's boring. It's boring. Did you guys even prepare for Virginia this week? Or was yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, we prepared for all, watching more film. Prepare for Virginia, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying, we worked on our own thing, like our own fundamentals and things like that. You know, I feel, like, I, feel like, I feel like personally, Bible came in a pretty good time. Especially for me, me, a little, me being a little banged up or whatever. Mm -hmm. I had bad angles. I feel like it came in a pretty good time. I'm gonna try to heal up and get ready for. Uh, See, you next can week sit out and stuff. I, if I'm made up, I gotta go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you guys gonna watch a lot of college football tomorrow, you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah playing games on, on tomorrow. Yeah. That's, that's gonna be my whole day. What game are you playing on watching? Like, what game can't you miss? Um, I gotta watch Vite and Carolina play. Okay. I gotta watch them play. Or I'm gonna flip back and forth between Florida and Tennessee. Uh huh. You know, and later that's what, on. That's what coach is going to be watching. You know, yeah. and later on that night, you know, we got two, I think it's two big games that night. Um, Florida State Wake. Yeah. Florida State Wake. And I think Auburn, Auburn LSU, LSU, and Auburn. Georgia. Me being you know, a Georgia boy. You know, I Georgia, 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 Arizona State. State. Oh, okay, okay. So, you know, we're going to be flipping back and forth, mm -hmm. but, you know. You guys are all going to get together and watch them together? Most likely. Yeah. Yeah. Most likely. We can go to e house and cook some shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> You cook? Uh, shrimp. I like shrimp. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I make Georgia shrimp. boy like yeah. shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, he from like Savannah. <laughs> you remember uh, the movie Savannah Forrest nice. Gump? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gump shrimp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you cook it all that? Yeah, I can cook a little bit. Yeah, what do you cook? Some of everything. Some of everything. I grew up. What's your, what's your, what's your best dish though? Um, it, it depends. It depends. No, I can cook a lot. I can't, I can't say what's my best dish. Growing up, you know, with my mom, you know, she cooked, so it not, it was like I had no choice. Sometimes I was bored, so I just go in the kitchen and see what she was doing. Yeah. And so I kind of learned that way. What's your favorite thing to do when you go home? <laughs> I like to trip my little sisters. Um, oh, when I go home, that's the first thing I always do. I pick them up from school most of the time, because still be at school. I don't normally drive home early in the morning. I pick them up from school, you know, so I take them out, like get some ice cream or something. Uh -huh. And then after that, go out with my homeboys, and we end up going out for the night or something that way. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have a favorite restaurant that you go to when you go home? Like that that one place you gotta go to when you get home? Uh, not really my not really my favorite, but since y'all have since we don't have a Popeyes up here, I always as soon as I get up the highway, I always, Popeyes. I always talk to Popeyes. <laughs> yeah, I, I talk to Popeyes. It's a must. And, it's a, and it's a place back home called Island Breeze, so like uh, Caribbean food, and I always talk to those two places every time I go home. Okay. okay. So, you know, I don't get a lot of Caribbean food up here. I grew up around that kind of food. Uh, I, I, would, I like Popeyes and Checkers, and neither one of them are up here. So, so you like Creole and stuff like that too? Yeah. yeah. I gotta take you right. to Jamaica, Jamaica, homie. <laughs> uh, what about you? What do you do when you go home? Man, the first thing I do when I go home. Is give me some barbecue ribs. Yeah. They don't, you know. The barbecue around here is not, not the same. You know, not the same. It's there. It's I have to give me some. <laughs> I, I have to give me some seafood. I go to the Bahamian spot. You know, give me some conch salad. You know, things things oh. I can't I can't I don't eat up here. Yeah. All the food I don't eat up here. I um same thing with Iran. I go to um an island restaurant. Some oxtails and rice. Oxtails? Oxtails, Ox some curry goat. I never, curry goat? Yeah. Okay. I, either of those things. You never heard of it? No, I've never had them. Oh, no. I would never yeah. order oxtail. Yeah. Oxtails so good. Yeah. Curry goat, some conch, some scallops. <laughs> you, know, you know, things, you, things <laughs> we can't get up here, you know, yeah. we buy the water in yeah. Florida, so. <laughs> just some, some things like that. You know, we got a place called Captain Crabs that we kind of love to go to. Okay. You, you know, bucket of garlic crabs. What's, what's been like getting a little more, um, I mean, getting more, you know, hey, good game on Saturday, stuff like that. You know, it's been great. Yeah. But at the same time, we're not satisfied. Mm -hmm. We're not content with that. We hungry. We continuing to work hard. And, you know, we felt like we had it in us all this time. But finally, it's happened for us on the football field. And everything we're doing off the field is, is paying off on Saturday. So that's, it's been a great feel around there. Mm -hmm. what, would you, what do you think it would be like? If this place is packed with Virginia and you guys gonna win, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. It'd be real nice to not saying look up and see it. A whole, whole bunch of blue out here mm -hmm. instead of orange. Yeah, yeah. You know, as it been in the past. Yeah. You know? So I think it'll be it'll be amazing. And we feel the fans don't know. You know, so we appreciate them so much. We actually feed off that energy, man. When the fans get loud, you know, and they backing us, you know, especially on the defense on the third third down situation and the defense, you know, getting stops out there. And the offense on the third down situation, and we get first, and we convert first downs. You know, it's, it's been a blessing to have the fans out there because you know they've been a tremendous impact on us. You got your hops brown, shoes on your feet, and you wear them around like it ain't shit. But you don't know the way that you look when your steps make that move.
much noise. Shh. See, I got shoes.